the Japanese words I'll mention later, but I'm just starting off with it. Okay, we have the Sweet Mermaid. I'm not gonna tell them that's the anniversary box. Oh yeah, it is the anniversary box. Sorry about that. Totally forgot. Yeah, um, this is their anniversary. This is Sweet Mermaid. It looks like a gummy. Okay, let me just open this if I can. Okay, can't open it from there. I can't open it from here though, yeah. It looks like a potato. I mean, think about it, it really looks like a potato, doesn't it? It does, does it taste like a potato? No, it tastes delicious though. A potato. <laughs> <laughs> the filling's a little bit sweet. I really can't identify like a specific flavor except sweetness. Okay, so it's fluffy, moist, and filled with delicious bean paste. Also, oh. it was named after a yacht. Bean and paste. it's also a pastry. Delicious called Pico Mochi. Yes, more mochi. More mochi. Thank you. Maybe mochi. people do. Well, it's gummy texture, but let's just eat it. That's actually pretty good. I like the um, texture is very satisfying because it's like a little bit gummy, but chewy at the same time. It's very satisfying to bite into and chew. Um, the flavor is a little bit fruity, don't you think? For sure. This next one is called Country Ma'am Matcha Chocolate. I think they're just supposed to be flavored like tea. Question mark. Okay, you you eat it first. I'm worried about it. It does smell like. It smells like tea. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, the combination of mochi and chocolate is not a good one. Smells really strongly of tea, which is kind of off-putting. I wouldn't eat any more of this. Chocolate, what? banana, langu, de chat cookie. Oh, it looks like the banana filling is on the inside. You like banana flavors. That's actually amazing. Amazing, I love it. Although it's not structurally sound. It definitely is not structurally sound. Hojicha roasted green tea financer. It's a roasted green tea and financer. Ew, this just smells still not delicious. Did you just lick it? <laughs> It wasn't as bad as the other cookie. The chocolate and mocha, matcha one was not good. That's very strong green tea. This one is not great, but it's not as bad as the other one. Um, Trash. Next to the black sesame cookie. It actually... It's not bad. The cookie part is a little bit bland, but the black sesame seeds definitely give it a little bit of extra flavor. Next we got a mochi truffle. And it has something Fancy. to do with strawberries. You know, yeah. according to um, this. It's an interesting texture. Mm, yeah, interesting. That's a definitely how I put it. I like it. Not bad. They're potato, they're potato snack like potato chips, curry flavor. That's good. The curry items are usually good. Yeah, curry also, items don't eat it till I'm finished describing. Okay. They're not quite a chip. They're crackers. And they are potato based. It's flaky and thin. That's how it feels. Double thumbs up. I agree with them. Very thin, light, crispy and a good curry flavor. So if you like curry, you would definitely enjoy this. These, these are ta takoyaki te corn puffs. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I know what you want to say. No, I, I'm eating. It looks like a tater tot. <laughs> so this is a corn puff? Mm -hmm. It's light and airy. Not only corn flavor, but it's delicious. I'm not sure if anyone Gotta go look at it, but this is what it looks like. It tastes good. Oh, um, um, 
It definitely has a strong soy sauce flavor, which is good. Not a very strong corn flavor, which is very good. And as Ben pointed out, very crispy and light. And so, yeah, I would give this a thumbs up as well. This was delicious. So this is Shinkabuki fried rice cracker. That sounds good. Mmm. It's a little harder than I expected, but I still like it. It was a little hard to bite into, but I was expecting sweet for some reason, and it's savory, but it's still good. It is a little sweet, though. They're, but they're shikwasa salt. Shikwasa salt. I don't know what that is, but whatever. They're exclusive to Okinawa. Tiny little rice puff. Mmm. Um, next we have a jelly. Oh, the jelly's next? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I am fine. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay. It smells very strongly of lemon. Well, it's supposed to be citrusy, not lemony. Here, let me... I'll get a little spoonful for you first. What do you think? It was meh. It's not that bad, but it's very meh. Um, it's not something that I would eat on a regular basis. Oh god, next we have something called candy yuzu peel, and that just does not sound appealing. That's good. It tastes like orange. Oh yeah, it is. What's the last thing before the tea? They're, they're chocolate. Azuki beans. Are you gonna try one? Yeah, here's how I try it. Did by making a mess? Come on. I, I, no, I did not make a mess. Well, for one thing, there's as, chocolate on the inside. As displayed by the fact that Ben just crushed it in his fingers, they're not hard, which it looks like it would be really hard, like a raw bean. It actually is not terrible. Um, the chocolate gives it a good sweet flavor, and I'm not sure what the outside is, but can't really taste it. I don't mind it. All right, with that, how would you rate this box? I wouldn't. You're not going to rate it? No, I will. There were, there were only two good things. The curry thing, and, and, and like, the puffs. Nothing else was good. I liked the curry chips. The little rice cakes were good. Oh, and I liked the orange peel things. I would rate it mm, 4 out of 10. I'd agree. Alright. Would you rate it 4 out of 10 too? Yes, I already said that. Alright, well, we're done. Signing off. Sayonara! Sayonara. Goodbye.